Now you may have this type of e-bike controller with many connectors. You might want to be able to remove this easily from your e-bike when you leave it outside for the night. But unplugging all of these connectors is a nightmare. Also, they are not designed for outdoor use, so they get corroded a lot. So let's DIY and make the controller and the battery removable with one connector. Here is a typical e-bike controller. There are a lot of duplicate wires here that we don't actually need. For example, we only need to connect one ground wire for pass, throttle, hall sensor, low level brake and battery level indicator. There we have four unnecessary wires already. Also, you can combine plus 5 volt wires for throttle and pass sensor. So, calculate how many wires you actually need and find a suitable connector. If you have trouble doing that, leave a comment below and I will help you. Leave the whole sensor power alone. It may have a different plus 5 volt from the rest of the appliances. Here is an automotive connector with 14 pins, which is perfect for this project. It's very heavy duty. I like it. Now we need to put this bundle together. This controller doesn't have a pedal assist system. So I will be adding a DIY pass module through this setup. To see how to make one, click the link in the description. Before cutting old connectors off, we should mark all the wires. Then remove old connectors. Now we are ready to connect everything together. We need to solder everything properly, since this is a moving outdoor application. I use tape and trim tubing for protection. This is an XT60 connector for the power input. I always use these connectors for my DIY batteries. Now we have a little bit of a mess. Let's use some tape and make this nice. Great! I welded this bracket from scrap metal. It will be mounted on the frame like a gas tank. I made it light but sturdy enough since I will be putting a heavy battery here. I will use this DIY battery for demonstration purposes. In the next video, I will make a new DIY battery to fit this bracket. Stay tuned for that. Now let's make this power block. I use zip ties for this installation. They are perfect for that. You may have noticed that I removed the potentiometer from my DIY pass module. I don't adjust it often, so I replace that with a small variable resistor. Now since this is a moving application, we need to be careful when fastening wires with zip ties. Put some protection on the wires if you are not sure about how well they will stand rubbing against zip ties or metal. Everything seems secure on this side. Now let's attach our temporary battery pack. This is a 48 volt battery. Now let's fasten this main power cable on the other side. And we are done. This power block is now ready for a test drive. Here is one of my latest e-bike builds. Let's finally give it some power. All wires are already combined into one connector. Connect the power block. Secure it with a pin and we are ready for a test drive. I welded this frame and front end from scrap metal. I will paint this e-bike black and make a new battery in the next video. Stay tuned for that. When you are done riding, just unplug the connector and take the whole thing with you for the night. And there you have it. We made a system that you can easily remove with one connector. What do you think about this setup? Leave a comment below. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.